So today we are gonna get spicy. As you guys can see in the title, I am gonna be trying out the Fenty Beauty new Moroccan Spice palette. This is the new palette that Fenty Beauty launched. She also launched a bunch of other products with the palette, a primer, some brushes, an eyeliner. I think that's it. So after taxes, the palette was $63.87. Original price of the palette is $59. So yes, I only bought the palette. I don't need more eyeshadow brushes. I have a bunch of eyeliners. I don't need a new eyeliner even though it did look like a really nice eyeliner and I would like to try it maybe later on. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I upload every Monday and Thursday. You guys can also find me on social media. Everything is at Sylvia and Beauty. If you haven't checked out IGTV, go check it out. I try to upload one IGTV video every week. It looks like a dark blue box and then on the back you have all of the eyeshadows that are in the palette. So the one thing about this palette is that it will get dirty so you will see like fingerprints on the palette. It is so gorgeous. This design that they have is kind of like a smoke. It kind of looks like 3D. It's just really, really nice packaging. I love this design. Kind of reminds me of like the desert for some reason. And then on the back, you have all of the colors. Comes with 15 shades. So on the back of the palette, it says 15 shades are 0.9 grams. And then one of the shades is 0.7 grams. It comes with a mirror, of course, because if I'm paying $60 for a freaking palette, there better be a mirror. These are all of the shades that are in the palette warm tone shadows on this side and more cool tone shadows on this side i'm not sure what look i'm gonna do today but i think i want to use like this shade right here red because i'm wearing a red top maybe these right here i kind of want to use that one as well so i decided to wear my hair natural today you know since we're gonna be feeling spicy i just wanted to bring out my latina hair out today also because it's raining and it's been raining it is so humid outside so i've already applied foundation i am using the fenty beauty in shade 220 i did my eyebrows already i applied contour i used the fenty beauty mocha match stick so what I'm going to do is apply concealer on my eyelids. I'm using the Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm using it as eyeshadow primer and to clean up around my eyebrows. I'm going to set that concealer with a little bit of powder. So I think I want to go in with this peachy shade right here in the middle. It's called, I think it's called Quick Sand. So it's definitely picking up the pigment on my eyeshadow brush. It is a little powdery so I do see like some of the eyeshadow coming off. And start applying. Okay so I had to put my hair up because it was driving me crazy. I'm just putting my brush in here and just blending it out and then building it up to whatever intensity that I want. I feel like it just blended out really easily. I really like the shade. It's so pretty. Next shade I am going to get, I think I want to get this purple shade. I think this one is called Fess Up. I'm so bad at figuring out the names if they're on the back. I wish they would put the names in the front. I always, always, always like it when brands put the names of the shadows in the front. I don't know why they do this. And I'm using an E38 Sigma brush. And I'm kind of just going to put that one in to my crease. And this one's a matte shade. So again, I don't feel like the shade is super, super pigmented. It's definitely buildable, which I like that for dark shades because if they're too pigmented, then you can really mess up. I'm just going to clean off this brush a little bit on a napkin. Going back in with the E38 brush, I'm going to go in with the red shade now. So this one's more of like a burgundy red. It's not red red. I'm just dipping my brush in here and then I'm going to put that one on the outer corner of my eyes wow that one is definitely more pigmented than the other two shades that I applied it looks really pretty and then I'm just dragging out that shade right here to create like a cat eye effect and I feel like it's blending out really good going back in with the fluffy brush I went in at the beginning I'm just gonna blend it out the edges 
that blended out really easy. Doing the same thing on the other eye. Kind of reminds me of like a burgundy red. By the way, if this eye looks a little bit red, it is because I got my lash extensions refilled the other day and some of the glue got in my eye and it's been red for like two days. Yeah. So one thing about the Fenty Beauty foundation, I noticed that it does not keep me matte. It looks matte when I first apply it, but I get oily really quick with that foundation. I don't know why. Okay, so that's how my eyes look right now. I really like this red shadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this gold shade. It looks like it has a shift. This one is called Casablanca, and I'm using a flat shader brush. This is the B18 by BH Cosmetics. I'm not gonna wet it. Just gonna see how the shadow applies dry. So this shade is definitely very pretty, but the glitter is getting everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some powder underneath my eyes because the glitter is getting everywhere just to get any of the fallout. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my brush this time. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my finger. Okay, yeah. I think with these glittery shadows that are up here, it's better if you use your finger to apply them and to get less fallout from the glitter. That's pretty, wow. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I am going to now apply some eyeliner and I'm gonna use this Sigma liquid pen eyeliner that Sigma Beauty sent to me. And I need an eyeliner that's gonna last because I'm gonna be outside, kid's birthday party, and it's gonna be humid. Um, so this definitely is not gonna budge. And it's very, very black. I also did my lower lash line. For that, I used this one right here. It's called a Spice Trip. I really, really liked it for smoking out the bottom lash line. And then I used some of the shade that I used in the beginning, quick sand to blend out the edges. And then I used this dark brown shade. It's called Hennessy. I used that one really close to my lash line and only on the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then I used this shade right here is called Desert Bake on the inner corner right here. It's really nice. That one has less glitter than the other shadow that I used that was very glittery. Didn't really give me any issues um, as well as the other shadows. They just blended out just fine. The matte shades are really nice in this palette. I like it. I'm having really bad allergies, you guys, and I never get allergies, so it's kind of crazy. Alright, so for my brow bone, I think I want to go in Holy cow, I just swatched this shade right here. It's called Marrakush. That was one swipe, you guys. Holy crap. Look how reflective that shadow is. I'm gonna use this one on the inner corner of my eyes. Oh yeah. Wow. Didn't have to wet my brush at all for this shade. And I'm gonna apply it on my brow bone as well. Very pigmented. I'm not even dipping back in there. I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush to apply it on my brow bone. So this is the finished eye look. I'm gonna apply some mascara on the lower lash line, maybe some black eyeliner in my waterline. Finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished look. For my lipstick, I used the Fenty Beauty Matte Mazelle lipstick in shade Single, and then I applied a little bit of Trophy Wife in the middle of my lips. For my highlighter, I am using the Mean Money and Hustla Baby highlighter, and then I just applied black eyeliner on my waterline and mascara, and set everything with makeup setting spray. And this is the finished look. I really, really like this eyeshadow look it's different I really love that red shadow it's just so rich and it makes me feel 
spicy. Let me know what you guys think about the finished look. I actually like this palette more than the Galaxy palette that she released because this one does come with matte shades. The matte shadows are really good in this palette. They are a little powdery, so there was a little bit of fallout. I didn't have issues blending out the shadows. I felt like they were very easy to build up and blend them out. Like the more glittery eyeshadows, they're very, very beautiful. However, you do get a lot of fallout with those shadows. So yeah, there's definitely some pros and cons from the palette. So hopefully this video was helpful for some of you guys if you are going out to look to purchase a palette. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. You guys can find me everywhere at Sylvia M Beauty. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh my god. There is a freaking bug right in front of me. Oh my god, it's flying. 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 Oh my god, it's freaking me out.